Hey everyone, welcome to Movies in a Nutshell. Today we're talking about a sci-fi movie based on a manga and anime of the same name. In the 21st century, overpopulation has become a big problem that pushes people to prepare to colonize Mars. They sent Moss to terraform the planet to be more habitable since Moss is able to absorb sunlight and warm up the planet. They also sent another life form to spread the Moss, capable of surviving the harsh climate, cockroaches. 500 years later, in 2599, a crew was sent to eradicate the roaches. The crew is full of misfits, criminals, people who desire money, and those who have nothing else to lose. When the crew lands on Mars aboard a spaceship called Bugs 2, they find that the terraforming was successful. They release a bomb full of insecticide meant to kill the roaches close to their landing area. But when they go out to search for the dead cockroaches, they instead find muscled anthropomorphic beasts wielding clubs. The beasts kill Nano Akita and Asuka Moriki, forcing the others to retreat back to the ship with only the body of Nano. Once there, the crew finds out that the beasts were the result of the accelerated evolution of the cockroaches, humans sent on Mars hundreds of years ago, a fact kept from them by their employer, Ko Honda, and their captain, Keisuke Dojima. It is also revealed that the crew was infused with DNA from different insects, unique to each individual, to combat the cockroaches and survive Mars. They are provided with insect cell activators to transform them and bring out their powers for a limited time. Overuse of the activator will lead to shock and death. The crew discusses leaving the dangerous planet, but before a decision is made, one of the evolved roaches finds their ship. Godly, a terrorist, volunteers to fight the roach to get back to Earth faster, wanting to use his newfound powers for revenge. To fight the evolved roach, he injects himself with the activator and transforms into a Midera beetle, able to emit fire. The crew is confident in Lee's fighting abilities, especially the man himself. Unfortunately, despite Lee emulating Goku and doing a Kamehameha, the cockroach survives and kills Lee. The crew is understandably horrified, which is increased when another cockroach climbs bugs too and attempts to break the glass of one of the windows. Mina Obari is confident it can't break in with the reinforced glass that Bugs 2 is equipped with but she is quickly proven wrong when the giant cockroach breaks the glass and falls inside the ship, decapitating two other crew members. Shikichi Komachi steps up to fight the roach, but Captain Dojima stops him. The captain then injects himself with the insect cell activator, transforming into a bullet ant, capable of carrying over 100 times his weight and known for its excruciating stings. He kills the giant roach immediately after transforming, the crew is reinvigorated when they realize they can beat the monster cockroaches, but Ichiro Hirama, the resident hacker, warns them of the hordes of monster roaches approaching. They wonder why the cockroaches want to kill them, and Sore Asako explains that cockroaches do not need a reason to kill humans, just as humans do not need a reason to kill roaches, they just do. The crew continues to argue while Mina tries to turn on Bugs 2's takeoff system, only to find that it's non-functional. She can't find out why the multiple system errors are happening, only that it isn't responding. The captain offers to stay as a decoy as he informs them of Bugs 1, a ship sent by Japan 10 years ago with the same systems as Bugs 2. He recommends the rest of the crew go there to transfer the system over to Bugs 2 while he stays. Shikichi, Ichiro, and Jin Yudo, a kickboxer with no money and nowhere else to go, volunteer to stay, but only Ichiro actually stays. Before leaving, Shikichi sneaks into the room he placed Nano's body in. He promises to come back for her, and as he's leaving, he notices some sort of silk attached from her body to parts of the ship. Back to the main part of the ship, Ichiro injects himself with the insect cell activator and transforms into a sleeping Chironomid. The giant roaches climb through the hole in the window that the first one made, and Captain Dojima fights them off as Ichiro runs to somewhere else on the ship. The rest of the crew waits impatiently for Shikichi while Mina orders Shunji Tezuka to propel the rover they take to Bugs 1. Tezuka injects himself with the activator and transforms into a Stenini McClay, capable of propelling themselves at impossible speeds. As the doors open to hundreds of giant, evolved cockroaches, Shikichi appears just in time to tell Tezuka to propel them, the rover then plowing through the evolved roaches. Captain Dojima, on the other hand, seems to be enjoying killing the cockroaches while Ichiro, closes the gates and the window protectors, squishing multiple roaches at the same time. He then discharges the oxygen on the ship, intending to asphyxiate the roaches left and with them. The roaches visibly struggle to breathe not long after. 
The crew on the rover is not too far from Bugs One when they encounter a tsunami of cockroaches all piling over each other. They manage to push through it, with quite a bit of damage done to Tezuka, who didn't have the luxury of a roof to shield him from the roaches they were passing through. Unfortunately, a second wave shows itself, and the crew realizes that Tezuka will not survive it on his own. Shikichi tries to go out to help him, but Sori volunteers, transforming into a Pacarincus Infernales, known for their extremely hard exoskeletons. Rumors say they can withstand the weight of an elephant. Maria Renjo reluctantly joins her, transforming into her own bug, the Rainbow Stag Beetle, capable of active camouflage. They protect Tezuka from the wave of roaches, but all three of them are pushed off the rover as a barrel rolls, leaving the occupants unconscious and unable to stop the autopilot functionality from leaving Tezuka, Maria, and Sore behind. All three are killed by the giant roaches. Back on Bugs 2, Captain Doji Ma seems to be weakening as the lack of oxygen gets to him, though he is still capable of killing the roaches. Ichiro also fights back but freezes and falls over, not moving and seemingly dead. The remaining members wake up without Tezuka, Maria, and Sore, but quickly find themselves at Bugs 1. Shikichi, Mina, and Jin enter the abandoned ship, leaving Yo Toromaru and Joji Yashikane, two Yakuza members outside of the entrance. They find that Bugs 1 was already transmitting something back to Earth, but before any of them can try to find out, a gunshot is heard from outside. Toromaru and Yoshikane are killed by gun-wielding roaches. As Shikichi, Jin, and Mina discuss the new dead bodies and the new gun-wielding roaches, a worryingly intelligent monster cockroach is seen communicating with Honda, relaying information on the current situations in a voice that sounds like they inhaled helium for two minutes straight. Shortly after the smart roach talks to Honda, Shikichi injects himself with the insect cell activator, turning into a Japanese giant hornet known to be deadly and aggressive with the ability to use their venom more than once. Jin injects himself, too, turning into a desert locust with powerful hind legs capable of jumping large heights and long distances. On Bugs 2, the oxygen is being recharged by another smart roach. The captain has turned back into a human, lying on the ground and vibing. The cockroach who turned the oxygen back on walks over to the captain and praises him before pointing a gun straight at his head. Mina, at the entrance of Bug One, followed her crewmates and turned into an orchid praying mantis, with its powerful claws and tendency to prey on frogs, lizards, and even male mantises. With little effort, Mina, Shikichi, and Jin kill the 15 cockroaches around them. They decide to bring the Bugs One system back to Bugs Two, but they notice the concerning appearance of pyramids on Mars. Captain Dojima, still somehow capable of speaking, asks the roach holding a gun to his head who they are. The bug doesn't answer, but its head cracks open like Humpty Dumpty with fewer pieces, and out comes Moriki, somehow still alive herself. It's revealed that she transformed into an emerald cockroach wasp, capable of practically enslaving cockroaches, including the monstrous ones on Mars. Moriki reveals that Ichiro is not, in fact, dead. She proceeds to kill Captain Dojima with multiple gunshots, and she looks like she's quite enjoying herself. Moriki then splashes a glass of water onto Ichiro, who slowly comes back to life. Apparently, sleeping Chironomid larvae have a unique ability that practically makes them immortal. They can survive in many extreme environments, just add water to revive them. Once he's awake, Moriki mentions how she got two controlled roaches to mate and produce an egg, a retrieval mission that Honda assigned to Moriki, Ichiro, and Captain Dojima. They launched Bugs 2 because of course it was the hacker of the team who managed to sabotage the ship's systems. On the surface near Bugs 1, Chikichi, Jin, and Mina notice Bugs 2 flying. They wonder what's going on, of course, but then a drone appears, and Honda talks to them through it. He goes through his dramatic villain speech, explaining that Moriki and Ichiro have betrayed them, and that the Japanese government made the crew of Bugs 2 for the purpose of experimenting with human and insect DNA, as well as to get a roach egg to unlock the secrets of their evolution. Unfortunately, the egg on Bugs 2 hatches not soon after Moriki and Ichiro launch. The two resulting roaches seem to be immune to Moriki's mind control and kill her, but Ichiro hides and transforms just in time. The newly hatched roaches call for their brethren, who sprout wings and fly to Bugs 2 to soften its emergency landing. When Bugs 2 lands, the roaches are faced with three of the remaining crew, Mina, Jin, and Shikichi. Jin and Shikichi discover that two roaches with markings on their foreheads are more powerful and human-like in their fighting styles. 
making them harder opponents to beat. Mina dies shortly into the battle that ensues, but Jin and Shikichi find out that they can inject another dose of the insect cell activator to enhance their transformations more. Unfortunately, Jin soon injects too much, and while he kills one of the newly evolved roaches, his transformation becomes permanent and he seems to be weakening. Shikichi protects him, but loses his stingers to the other newly evolved cockroach. Surprisingly, before the killing blow is made by the evolved roach, they see something in the distance. It's a flying white figure emitting a lot of sparkling dust. It's Nano, somehow alive, or at least alive enough to fly around. Jin somehow knows that Nano is a silk moth and that the dust she's emitting is highly flammable. Obviously, Chikichi doesn't believe Jin when he says Nano is dead, and he flies toward her. A cockroach shoots at them, igniting all the very flammable dust and making it combust. Jin jumps high and flies Shikichi up to safety while Nano falls into her own flames. The vibrations from the explosion knock over a glass on Bugs too, conveniently wetting a sleeping Ichiro. Jin and Shikichi fall from high, Jin becoming too tired to fly anymore. On the ground, Shikichi watches as Jin dies in his permanent insect form, comforting him through it. After he walks away from the human-sized insect corpse, some cockroaches stand up wobbly. The evolved roach is part of the few survivors. Shikichi punches the evolved roach, making it fall to the ground. He has every right to kill them, but he does not. Shikichi leaves the weakened roaches and boards the bugs too, observing the carnage that fills the ship. He finds Captain Dojima's body, shot through multiple times, and stops for a second. He then continues on up a ladder, presumably to the escape pod, but he encounters a Chiro on the platform. They have a tense conversation with Ichiro pointing a gun at Shikichi, but don't worry, Ichiro was only going to kill the roach behind Shikichi. He then suggests they leave on the coincidentally two-person escape pod, which they do. The evolved cockroach, now the new leader, stops the other cockroaches from flying after the pod. Back on Earth, Saka Kibara, Honda's assistant panics when she learns that Bugs 2 is broadcasting the operation to the whole world, thwarting the Japanese government's plans. Honda admits that it was Ichiro's work, so he and Shikichi can't be silenced on Earth. Honda reveals that he'll be laying low and even sell the results of the operation and fight data to international buyers. This is when Saka Kibara reveals herself to be a spy from the government and tries to kill Honda. She fails as her bullet is stopped by some sort of force field, and she's killed by Honda's bug brooch that sprays hornet venom that causes anaphylactic shock when inhaled, killing her. On the pod, Shikichi and Ichiro talk about what they'll do when they get back to Earth. Ichiro mentions that he'll be a big shot when they get back, that he'll be on top of the world. Shikichi says that he wants to build a grave for Nano and everyone else on their crew. He barely hesitates when he says he will return to Mars as well. 